This is thermite. It's a powdered mixture of iron oxide and aluminium, which when ignited burns at two and a half thousand degrees Celsius, which is very, very hot. This is liquid nitrogen. It's specially stored at minus 198 degrees Celsius. That's 163 degrees colder than the North Pole in winter. But is it cold enough to neutralize the intense heat of thermite? Packed into the slow release mechanism of a garden flower pot, the thermite is ready for action. Just light the touch paper and stand well back. The fuse triggers the irreversible thermite reaction. As scorching hot meets freezing cold, a fierce battle rages. The smoke clears and incredibly, nothing remains. As the thermite burns at two and a half thousand degrees, it releases a raging torrent of molten iron, which rains down upon the liquid nitrogen, boiling the glacial mixture away in a plume of vapor and melting the cylinder, leaving just a puddle of white hot iron. A clear victory for thermite. So there you go, Dan. Adding something cold to thermite doesn't cancel it out. It just makes it angry. Thermite. You won't like it when it's angry. This is a car. It's been specially chosen to be destroyed because it's old, it's white, but more importantly, because it's French. The engine block is the densest part of a car. It's basically a huge lump of metal, and, well, it's very hard to melt. Lucky then, the Brainiacs have plenty of thermite, specially packed into the slow-release mechanism of a garden flower pot. A big pile on the bonnet directly over the engine block should do the trick. Time to light the fuse and give this homage to French engineering the send-off it so richly deserves. The irreversible thermite reaction begins. Within seconds, the fiery concoction eats through the bonnet, spraying molten thermite into the engine beneath. The devastation continues inside until finally a torrent of white-hot liquid metal pours out of the bottom, signalling the inevitable victory for thermite. A quick check confirms a clear path of destruction through the engine. Now that the engine is melted clean through, it seems only fitting to have a go at the petrol tank. Packed into the slow-release mechanism of a garden flower pot, the thermite is ready for action. Popped onto the roof, directly above the fuel tank, we top up, and just four feet of family car stands between the thermite and eight gallons of petrol. Light the touch paper and stand well back. The irreversible thermite reaction begins. Thermite produces a stream of molten iron which melts through the car in seconds. It's two and a half thousand degree heat igniting the expanding petrol in a devastating fireball. Leaving behind a car that won't be going very far anytime soon. So there you go.